We are going to go over some of the most frequently asked questions in basic troubleshooting for the Predator. I'll timestamp each section down below. If one of them applies to you, skip to it. Otherwise, I recommend watching this entire video if you're new to the Predator or new to strategies on Ninja Trader 8. But with that, let's get into it. All right, to kick things off, we're going to the very beginning. We are going to find the trial for the Predator. And to find the trial of the Predator, you first must go to the Discord and there's going to be an invite link in the description down below. It is completely free to join and there's a ton of other free Ninja Trader related content in there as well. And when you join our Discord, you're going to come up to this page. Just make sure you guys read this carefully. This just explains which is my account. Unfortunately, there are a lot of impersonators trying to pretend they are me, trying to sell you random courses or mentorship programs. Don't fall for it, guys. These guys are scammers. This is my only account. Only look at these dates, only this name. If you're unsure if you're talking to me, email dre at tradesaber.com just to verify. And please never send money to anybody on Discord, especially crypto, cash up, none of that. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't sell anything except the Predator. And that is only through my website at tradesaber.com. Anyways, back to the trial. When you join our Discord, to find the trial, you have to go down to the Predator info room. And this is where you're going to find all of the latest Predator information. So whether it's the latest videos or the latest file, you will find them in this room. And this file is the same for free trial and lifetime members. If this is your first time using it, just click on it, continue to download. And once you save your file, let's go to our Ninja Trader. We loaded up our Ninja Trader, let's import this. So you go to Tools, Import, Ninja Script Add-on, and you want to select the entire zip folder, then click Open and wait for it to import. All right, once it's successfully imported, let's go over how to actually load it on the chart. In this video, I'm not going to go over all the details of how to actually use it. If you want a video like that, make sure you watch this one where we explain the three different ways to use the Predator. For now, I just wanna show how to actually load it on the chart to make sure there are no problems. To load the Predator, you always want to make sure you right click on the chart, then go to strategies, find the Trade Saber Predator folder, and you will see the Predator X order entry. And now that we've loaded the Predator, we can adjust our settings to however we want to set up our Predator. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now, and we'll come back to it in a sec. Hit OK. And now for strategies, you have to enable them after. So go to your Ninja Trader control panel to the strategies tab. You will find the strategy you just loaded on the chart. Scroll all the way to the right where it says enabled and you can select that. Once you enable that, you will see the buttons generate for the Predator and you'll be good to go. Now, one thing I get asked quite a bit, I enable the Predator and it's not doing anything. I don't see the buttons nothing is happening. So make sure to always, always, always load the Predator by right clicking on the chart and going to strategies. Make sure to never right click on the control panel and new strategy. This I've seen cause a lot of problems in the past. Make sure to avoid doing this way. Always right click on the chart and strategies. Now, one of the most common questions I get is I enter a trade it submits the order, but I do not see my stop or my profit target. For this, we can see that we enter long. There's no stop, no profit, what's going on? So first we have to make sure we are on the correct account. If you look down to your PNL display, you will see we are on SIM 101. This is always going to display the account the predator is loaded on. Always make sure this account matches with your chart trader account that is actually showing. So right now I'm on SIM 2, but if I switch to SIM 101, we will see the generated profit and the stop. So now how do I switch accounts? That's easy, you disable the strategy, go back into your properties, scroll all the way down to your account. You can simply just select the account you're working with so in this case, we're doing SIM2 and just enable the strategy again. And you will see your PNL display will say SIM2. Make sure again on the chart trader panel, you select the correct account. Order 
and you will now see the profit and the stop orders. Now for next example, I'm going to lower our bar size just so we can get filled a little bit quicker. So always make sure when you're changing your data series. So that means either your bar size or the instrument you're working with, always disable the strategy first. Not doing this part can actually cause some sync issues. So always make sure to disable it first. And now we are free to actually change our bar size. So I'm going to go down to four and one. I'm just doing four to one for the sake of the video. I do not recommend doing four and one on NQ. You will get chopped up a lot and this will not be good for your account. Again, this is just for the next part of the video where I'm trying to enter trades. Now, another common question I've been getting lately is the predator is not taking any trades. I load it up and it's not doing anything. So you have to remember that the predator is an order entry and management system. The predator is meant to be customized by the user to help them enter and manage their own trades. Again, there's a video where I show three different ways on how to use it, but I'm going to show a quick example to get automatic trades showing on your chart. So here we have our chart. It's not taking any trades. It's not coloring any reversals. So disable the strategy, go back into the strategy properties and scroll down to your auto entries. In this section, you can select your reversal, engulf, Barsini row, MA cross, or super trend cross. Just to keep it simple, we will do a reversal. Now we can select to trade the reversal and color the reversal. And now anytime there's a reversal, it's going to enter a trade. We can hit apply, enable, and we're waiting for it to turn red. Order submitted. So it turned red and it entered our stop. It entered our profit target. And from here, you could also control your button to go to break even, and you can manually move it. We didn't set an automatic trail stop. That's why it's not doing it automatic, but you can do that as well. So let's get out of this trade and disable our buttons. So we're not entering on more trades, but that's why it's not taking any trades. We just need to set it up inside the properties. The next troubleshooting tip is for your historical trades or using strategy analyzer. So I'm just going to load up one of my templates here, which can also be found in the predator setup room. And we are going to see when we hit enabled, it's just going to color the bars, show the super trend, but there's no historical data. So let's go back into the properties. And now we're going to go to our controls section down to our show historical traits. Once we click that, I also recommend going down to our historical fill processing and changing our order fill resolution to high just to make it a little bit more realistic. Renko bars are not the most accurate with historical testing. This makes it a little bit more realistic. So once you have that, we hit apply and enable. And here we can see the trades the strategy would have taken. We have a couple winners. I think we had a loser over here. And yeah, if we scroll back, we can just see the performance. You can load more data on your chart. And with Strategy Analyzer, make sure you also select the Show Historical Trades. So obviously, this is just a quick test. You need to look back even more. You need to add commissions. There's a lot more things you can do to make it realistic. But this video is just focusing on the troubleshooting and making sure you can see your historical trades. For the next tip, when you are order, in an no. order, Make sure to never use the default Ninja Trader buttons because these will cause the strategy to shut down. You only ever want to use these in an emergency if nothing else is working because these will shut down any strategy, especially when you use the close button. Order it will take you out of the position, but it will also disable the strategy. So I always recommend that if you need to close your position, use the buttons generated by the strategy itself. The flatten all button will close down all of the trades generated by the strategy. Order filled. That way you can exit your full position without having to disable the strategy. For our last tip, when you're switching from a main account and you're switching to playback, you will notice your strategy is grayed out. This just means we have to clear it 
and load a new one with the correct account. Go back into the Predator and load a new instance. And you can hit apply and it should work on your playback now. I hope that helped answer some of the most common questions. If you're still unsure about anything, message me on Discord, email me dre at tradesaber.com. I'll always be happy to help. But with that, take care, enjoy.